this is a camping in your van video and uh, so I'm going to show you how to do it best way to go alright I'll show you my sleeping quarters here's the bed I made that I sleep in it's uh I made this out of uh, some 4x8 pieces of Luan you can get at uh, Menards. I think it's like uh, $9 a sheet. And uh, I insulated it with uh, pieces of styrofoam. If you can see that. Kind of coming off a little bit and then I put cardboard over it and that cardboard uh, helps with insulation too it it kind of wicks away moisture anyway I got this I got these pads down you know, I got an exercise mat pad and I got like a camping pad and I got I got like three of them but if you really want it to be warm you could put like uh, I'm gonna put styrofoam down on the bottom right here to make sure that the uh, the van doesn't conduct the heat away from my body you know because it's so it's all made out of metal I'm in like a tin can living in a like a beer can but if you're up off the metal and everything you're good and uh, I made a little compartment here. You know, I can put, uh, there's like a little cabinet there in the corner I made to put all my stuff in there, like a flashlight or, you know, a radio or aspirins or whatever. I got those holes there for ventilation and I got a hole here kind of by my head for ventilation I drilled and uh, I'll show you what else yeah and I made a cover out of cardboard so when you park like at a Walmart you know and those those parking lights parking lot lights are they're always shining in your face you know making it too bright you can put this piece of cardboard down and totally blocks that totally makes it comfortable you know you can you put this piece of cardboard down like this and you're totally cool man it's you can totally <laughs> get out of the light and uh, when I'm in here I don't know if I'm at home or what Yeah, and I made the sliding door to get in and out of. You can see it. See that? Makes it a heck of a lot easier to get in and out of. And here's the bed all made up. Two wool blankets and an old sleeping bag pillow I'm ready to rock tonight oh yeah and you put this uh, I'll show you how I put this you put this cardboard down put some cardboard down to hold in the heat and to block the light Close the sliding door and you're good. Like that and you're nice and warm and good, good to go. And uh, if a cop happens by, you, you know, like if you park somewhere in a parking lot where they don't want anybody parking at night, sometimes a cop will just shine the 
this flashlight in the window and just see the box and just think nobody's in there and uh, just drive away. But if they see you in there, then they're going to ask you to move or tell you to move. So this way it's better. Nobody can see you sleeping in there and uh, you don't have the light shining in your eyes and you're nice and cozy and warm. Right now I'm in a city in a park and uh, I think I'm going to hang out for a few days. I'm going to get something to eat at the deli right now and uh, delis are the best places to go. They're, uh, they're cheaper and you can pick what you want to eat and uh, it's a lot, uh, it's a lot better. Then I'm just gonna hang around for a while, like hang out in the mall and uh, see what's happening. And uh, after that, probably take a nap for a little while and uh, go out later. Um, I find that grocery stores are better than coffee shops and uh, restaurants. They're a lot cheaper and uh, you can eat what you want to eat. Um, so yeah, they're, they're a lot healthier and uh, that's where I'm at now. Go to the deli. The deli, you can choose what you want and uh, I just find that, uh, especially if you can sit down. One thing good about winter time is in the park there's no one around and you can have it all to yourself. It's probably like 22 degrees comfortable right now. I was kind of resting and uh, totally comfortable. In the summertime, it's noisy and full of people. And uh, if I want to cook something, you know, outside on the grill, like I like to do, there's always like nosy people like, coming around and, what's he doing? You know, and, what's he cooking? But uh, getting dark now, and I think I'll uh, go to the library, hang out in the library. Till about like uh, 8.30, then uh, maybe go out, see what's happening. What I gotta do now is uh, fill this soda bottle up full of water, hot water, to put in my bed. You see there's a piece of ice in there. Put this soda bottle full of hot water in my bed to warm it up because I don't want to climb into a bed that's 20 degrees and my body's got to work real hard to heat up this bed and uh, that's not good. Okay, I'm sitting in my box and uh, I don't feel cold at all. It's like 19 degrees out right now and uh, got my water jug here drinking water. Uh, it's a uh, little after 10 p.m. I was gonna go out but I changed my mind. I don't feel like I don't feel like drinking. I want to be healthy. Tomorrow's another day. So uh, I've seen a lot of people in town and uh, at the library and in the mall and stuff like that. Tomorrow's supposed to be warmer, so that should help out a lot. I always bring drinking water with me. 
because at night you'll wake up and you might be really thirsty or I always wear a hooded uh, you gotta wear something hooded because it protects your head and the back of your neck and everything because if you lay with uh, just a hat on the blankets just kind of cover the your shoulders you know and uh, your neck is sticking out and uh, after years of doing that I got a little bit of arthritis in my neck so I have after that from now on I always keep something uh, I always have a hoodie I have like about three hoodies with me all the time in this kind of climate you gotta have it Well, I'm going to hit the sack. Uh, see you tomorrow. Ugh. Sweet. Well, I wasn't cold last night, but the uh, snow moving machinery kept me awake all night. There's snow banks everywhere. Well, I'm going to go in the mall and use their facilities to freshen up. Well, it's night again, and I'm going to try out my Coleman gas stove. I got it at Walmart for $45. It uh, runs on just regular gasoline. I put premium in it. And I'm gonna heat up that uh, coffee pot full of water and see how long it takes before it gets uh, hot enough. All right, turn it one half turn and pump 25 times. Turn the lighting lever. Pump another 25. I'm just going to pump 20. I don't need the full. Wait till it starts burning nice and hot before I put my kettle of water on there. You can see now it's starting to uh, get hotter and burn cleaner. It has to heat up that coil on top before it starts burning hotter and cleaner. Wait a little while. Any time now. I don't really recommend doing this in your van, but I got all the windows open and uh, I'm going to do it anyways. I got my sliding door open here. Okay. 
good. Kettle of water on top. And that thing's full. And there it is. And I'll get back to you when it starts to get hot. Okay, it's been uh, nine minutes and uh, you can see it's starting to really steam. Yep, hot enough. Nine minutes to get it hot enough to fill a hot water bottle. Definitely. jug oh, shit. spilling all over the place ah that's hot ah whoa but that's what you want you want it really hot, almost boiling for putting in your bed. Back in my bed, cover it up. I'll keep my bed warm. So when I get in it, I won't be freezing my butt off. All right, let some of the extra pressure out of it. I don't want that in there when sitting in there when I'm driving around. Yeah. Coleman liquid gasoline stove. Definitely worth it to take van camping in the winter time. And it's great for cooking on too. For heating up water fast or you know if you want a hot chocolate or a cup of tea. It's great. Well, it's kind of early right now. It's uh, 9.05. I don't know what to do. It's kind of, uh, should I go to the bar now or should I go to the ski hill? So, I'm gonna get out of here for now. I'd play the tunes, but uh, I know there'd be some copyright issues on that. <clears throat> um, yeah, one thing I wanted to talk about is uh, if you can find your own private spots 
to park in that no one else knows about. They're great to park in during the daytime, especially when the sun's out. You park in there like and it's quiet and it, uh, if the sun's out it gets nice and warm. You can take naps in there because uh, you're gonna need rest all the time because you're always it's 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 a little rough but uh, because you're always um, you got to think pretty hard like where you're gonna park all the time or am I gonna get kicked out of the spot so uh, and then you look fresh and you're happy then you're in a, in a good mood but if you don't sleep much you're, you're not gonna be smiling much you're not gonna be smiling worth a damn sort of like looking at you like he looks bummed out that sucks um, Walmarts are not too good because they're they're always too noisy um, and at night they always got the there's always they got that sweeping crew out there sweeping the parking lot like all hours of the night, you know, especially early in the morning that wakes you up and it's a kind of a bummer, you know, it pisses, it'll piss you off. I don't like to park in Walmarts unless I'm like passing through a town and, uh, you know, that's, it's, it's good for when you're passing through a town, but, uh, you the main goal is to find a, a quieter spot. Barnes and Noble is another good place to hang out if uh, you just kind of want to sit around and rest a little bit before you go out at night. Alright, I'm in my secluded spot facing the sun. And uh, temperature is about 30 degrees right now, but it'll get up to like... 50-55 in here. Really nice and comfortable. So, uh, the sun is your friend in the winter time. Oh, finally some sun. I think I'm going to go out and catch some rays. While I can.